first off, it's, it's probably going to be a completely different level of power that McNally has ever come up against. You know, Serena is so intimidating, so powerful. Uh, all starts with the serve. Yeah, Serena's first serve percentage unreturned in that opening round match at 54% against Sharapova. So she was getting a fair few free points. Some back issues, of course. Was forced to pull out of the final in Toronto, then forced to withdraw from the event in Cincinnati. So a couple of physical question marks coming into the US Open for Serena, but answered them. That opening round win. You know, the few times we've seen Serena have trouble over the last 12 months is when you can take away time from Serena. And that's going to be the toughest test for McNally in this match. Can she create enough pace to make Serena off balance and not be able to set up for some of her powerful ground strokes? You, you posed the question to me about that Wimbledon final and whatever. Do you think it's a matter where she's better if she plays a little bit coming into a slam, or what, what do you think's at play? It's a tough one. I, I, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, the, obviously, the, the case, the argument was made that she hadn't played enough really big matches coming into these finals, but has it ever been a, a problem for her in the past? Not really, has it? So the evidence would suggest that Unless it's something, as you say, that as she's getting older, it's becoming more of an issue. Certainly throughout her career, she's played a fairly limited schedule. That's always been generally the way. Even more so, of course, in recent years. Lovely. looking at how many events Serena played last year. Just the six tournaments she played the whole of last season. Let's Shut things down after the US Open once again. You can hear the crowd, <laughs> they're getting behind the youngster. And that's what she has to tap into, right? I'm sure she's watched many of night matches over the years where the crowd can really energize the player. <laughs> Obviously, Serena that's always a crowd team. favorite wherever she plays. But the New York fans do like an underdog. They'd love mm -hmm. to see a little bit of a match here. I'm not sure they'd want a full upset, but they'd love to see a match. Return on that pretty quickly. And the one thing you're thinking about if you're McNally, one, you want that first game. <laughs> You'd like it to come as soon as possible. <laughs> this summer how about that Nick serve and volley out wide excellent return from Serena and a beautiful half volley pickup by McNally that was pretty I mean you could probably count on one hand the amount of serve and volley points played in the women's draw I would have thought over the course of a major these days and there you go she has got her one 
One demo for sense. And the good news for Katie McNally is she played a very good game there, too. It's not like a lot of errors there from Serena. So she's into it. Coach Kevin O'Neill still getting the Instagram feed going. You could imagine his phone is probably blowing up. <laughs> Look at this. She's moving to her left for the second serve return here, Nick. Moving around. Ooh. Bold. You said not many certain volley points. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. Mm. Someone moving around on the second serve from Serena. She's come to play. Let's test it. Not sure that's the best strategy. Keep the pace. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen when Serena gets energized and things can rev up rather quickly. But I do like the courage that the young McNally is showing early here. You see the angle, but what's even more impressive is how short it is in the box. Best server we've ever seen in the women's game. And it all starts with how fluid the motion is. She has a beautiful motion. Uses her legs well. Certainly been the foundation, isn't it? Uh, her success among the many other attributes that she has in her game. Stony faced Serena. She leads 2 1. Played more, gets it. It's her sister, of course. We were lost a little early on today. It was a good one from what I saw of that match with uh, Elena Svitolina. Pretty amazing. Venus's 21st appearance here at the US Open. And I don't know if you caught her press conference afterwards. She goes, I am so encouraged. I thought I played really well. And I'm really looking forward to going to Asia in the fall. I uh, mean, that's mind blowing, isn't it? How's that outlook? Incredible. Yeah, that's extraordinary. What the Williams sisters have been able to do, it's its quite remarkable. Of course, their success speaks for itself, but just the longevity. We rarely have seen it on the women's side before. Time. A generational battle here between two Americans. Katie McNally will certainly have grown up watching Serena dominate this sport. Now with the task of upending her, serving 1 2. From McNally. Out. It was a fairly late call. It's 
just missed. A little smirk there. I think she was impressed by the chair overruled there. Not much space, but accurately called. What's a life different, Mark, for a 17-year-old these days coming running. onto the tour? Someone like this who's... How is it different from what it was, say, 15, 20 years ago? It seems to be more attention. I guess there's more agents want a piece of you is there. And, uh, does that change the pressures for a, a young lady like this? Yeah, I think for sure. You mentioned Corey Goff. That's going to be... That's going to be the toughest road to navigate, right? The off-court stuff, how your life changes. It's not so much about hitting the tennis ball. And, you know, we've seen that a little bit on the men's side. When you look at Sasha Zverev, things have kind of gone off course a little bit. You know, some could argue about the game, but I think it's more about off court. And, you know, I think I think the I think on the women's side, they're more prepared now. The youngsters are. They have better parameters in place. You know, generally, the women achieve, I'd say, younger than the men nowadays, especially with the top three on the men's side, not giving way to anybody. Oh. And I'll tell you what, it's early stages here yet, but I'm pretty impressed with the game that McNally's bringing to the court. You can see a nice all-court player moves well she needs to look no further than ash barty as someone to maybe try to replicate to Camilla Georgie in the semis of Washington after a good run there. That was her first event since qualifying for Wimbledon. Play one subsequent event in Cincinnati where she lost to Elise Mertens. So much talk about the age eligibility rules. I believe in what I'm saying that McNally being in her 18th year has got pretty much free reign. That's correct. Having a brief look earlier on. I think in your 17th year, it's a little different. eligibility rule was so much talk about Coco you... I think you know I understand why it was put in place right when we think back to the Capriati's and the Hingis's achieving just incredible things at ages of 15 and 16 you know it's when you see their success especially at a Grand Slam level it's, it's hard to remember that they're just teenagers so overall, I personally think it's a good thing. I, I know there are people that argue it, that maybe you're impeding their progress and so forth, but I think I like it. Oh, she'll definitely like that for her. Advantage, but now yeah, it's a beauty there. And you know, there's always gonna be an exception to the rule, but you have to realize that parameters are put in place for the majority, and, and that's the key thing. Sure. Some big points as well. Yeah, I think this says a lot about Katie McNally. 
you know, to be able to come out on this biggest stage and hold your own early. A reminder, usopen.org, stay connected via various social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 15 love. Join the conversation, hashtag US Open. see much of it all of a sudden in the finals of Wimbledon. I've been very impressed with the way she's looked. Obviously a great win over Sharapova. Comprehensive scoreline. You know, there's people that would argue Wimbledon. Okay, well, Serena didn't beat anybody inside the top 15 on her run to the final. But that doesn't hold up for me. You know, you see the way that she played in Toronto, played extremely well, beat Osaka in straight sets in the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, had to withdraw in the final against Andrescu. And then, you know, get some time off to prepare. For the fourth and final major of 2019. Again, Just the one point lost on serve so far for Serena Williams. Serena Williams. Enjoys a slender 3 2 lead. Time. Thank you, players already. A 36th night match here at the US Open for Serena Williams. To this point, 30 wins and five defeats under the lights. Had a fair few matches, of course. At prime time. that she has a little bit of disguise on that serve, doesn't she? She throws it a little bit over her head, yep. but able to slide it up the tee in that ad court. It's like a very sound service motion. how she can defend the second serve as is so often the case against her. Serena who is going to get after it as much as possible. Hey. 
slots. Into the slots under pressure, just keeping the ball a little lower. Such an effective shot in the women's game, especially, is that slice. Part of what's really helped Ash Barty move up the rankings. A little variety every now and then. so far here in this first set against Serena Williams. Just took you to a quick look at the rankings to sort of, to kind of reflect on who has a, who you would say has a competent slice back in the women's game. You mentioned Ash Barty, of course, Anastasia Savastava is a name that can springs to mind very confident using that particular shot. Thank Not you. too many though, are there? That's for sure. the forehand in to her own admission. She'll give a little junk ball every now and then yeah. to change the pace, and it's just so important. Not forgetting Su Wei Shei, who has done some fairly remarkable things in the women's game in the last couple of years, up in the top 30 now, and with her rather unorthodox way of doing things. behind that first serve, 123 miles an hour, just wide. You know, it's interesting, we, we showed Kevin O'Neill as McNally's coach. He's a very experienced coach. The gentleman on the right there, mom in the middle. So. Not totally surprised to see a very complete player here in the youngster. He's been around long enough. Would have formulated a pretty nice game plan. The other question is, can you execute it? But at least if you have a solid game plan, then it becomes up to the player. Finish with the forehand volley. This is a thing of beauty here. Great technique on the forehand volley. Just another different look she's throwing at Serena Williams. Two from two at the net so far. in again on that second. Pressuring the second serve of Serena Williams. Not a strategy we see adopted very often.
time. Excellent start here from the 17-year-old. Serving on serve, 3-4 after half an hour. Thank you, players ready. Start of the year at 409 in the world, did Katie McNally. Love 15. On the uh, $100,000 event, the very first week of the year in Midland, second week of the year, then had some success further at Surbiton in the summer and uh, not too far away from uh, my base down in Wimbledon. And as we've mentioned, has kicked on nicely inside the top 100, or close to now. I've seen Serena just kind of ramp up the emotion a little bit here in the last couple of points. Excellent body serve there. So McNally doing a good job of mixing up her locations on serve, just keeping Serena a little bit off balance on the return. Very difficult thing to do. It was only an hour and 10 minutes, but she came in 27 times against the Swiss and won the point 16 occasions. So we'd have tough. to go back quite some time to see 27 net approaches, wouldn't we? I would have thought so. Someone like a Roberta Vinci, maybe, isn't it? It was really competent at coming in. Of course, a lady who had so much success here. Former runner up. Here's a go. You've been honest, isn't she? You've been a guessing. This is really good stuff from McNally. Usually against top players, the question is, can you sustain the level? And so far, McNally is answering the call. And seems pretty confident as well. Doesn't seem Thank out of place you. here at all. Please. On Arthur Ashe Stadium. First serve, 119 miles an hour, but McNally still getting a racket on it. Serving at nearly 70%, Serena. 14 of 15 points, one when she's made the first.
Sue Wei. That was one of her wins in Washington, D.C. So <laughs> quickly, she's getting pretty comfortable out here. You mentioned she lost to Camilla Georgie in the semis. 7-6, 6-2. Six, six, and that'll be the key, right? Just how long can you maintain a level like this against the elite? And Serena was able to produce some decent depth off the backhand. Williams and it's leads five. Five. First one here in 1999 did Serena Williams. Followed it up in 02, 08, 2012, 13, and 14. But it's been five years since she got her hands on the trophy here. Nally serving to stay in the set. 15 love. first U.S. Open title. A little tidbit, Serena had already won that title and reached her second final, final here in New York in 2001. And McNally wasn't even born yet. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. It's a bit of context. It's a risky proposition to serve out wide and serve in ball. If you don't get it wide enough, didn't think she got it wide enough, but she still was able to get the error from Serena Williams on the return. building. relatively calm in the Williams box. strategy on the second serve directing most of them to the forehand side of Serena Williams if there is a side where you can get the occasional error it's the forehand side thank you he's making some notes he's Patrick this is an extraordinary academy now down in the, the south of France just outside of Nice Love 13. Love 13. 
question whether she was slightly perturbed by the movement of McNally, who almost gave it a little fake here, but whatever it was, it's a poor miss. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. against the 17 year old. First break points of the evening here. Oh, she's got it. Not the prettiest looking four end we've seen from Serena Williams. McNally leads six against five. A wild one, a wild one. And McNally is the first to break here. She'll get the chance to serve for the set at 6 5. Turns in play with the first thing she made. And she was able to force some errors. Well, and the way she went about it, how often do we see in a moment like that players maybe get defensive and hope for an error from the star player in Serena Williams? McNally, on the other hand, absolutely crushes this return. Watch this movement forward, good shoulder turn, great acceleration, and she beats Serena for pace there. Excellent return there for McNally. And she is creating a little bit of a buzz in this stadium, Nick Lester. Mm, too true. I mean, you have to think that Coco's done it with a big so tight. Her seeing Coco just go and tear it up a woman and go and tear it up yesterday. It's got to rock off, is not it? She's got to come out here thinking, hold on a minute. My best mate's just gone and made the last 16 at Wimbledon. I was we've been playing together for the last seven years. It has to be a factor mark, right? For sure. Absolutely. You're 100% correct, Nick. And we're seeing that. She believes in herself, and why not? Seize the moment. Thank you, players are ready. She's passed every test so far that we've seen. Now this is another test. First time that she's actually ahead. The thoughts of, am I actually taking a set off Serena Williams at the U.S. Open? <laughs> Got to quiet those thoughts. talks about quietening the inner chimp in the back of your head that is uh, creating those thoughts that are not helpful. So I have to dial that in right here. here from Serena. It was a nice approach, but look at the angle she created with that left hand. Two-handers do such a good job 
using the strength of the left hand to create the angle. with the feet there. He had one extra step. set for McNally, one more than Serena Williams. because you felt like if she went with the deep slice approach, Serena would have had a lot of time. But she just got Serena a little off balance there. She was there in plenty of time, but I think it's a shot she's not normally expecting. saying, what's going on here? This girl's playing quite a high level. I noticed a couple of things on social media that has been picked up by the effects microphone. Serena saying, why are you missing so much consistently? And it's a fair bit as that is down to her opponent. The advantage, McNally. Sure, what their expectations were this evening, but my daughter is delivering. And the 17 year old making her debut here at the US Open. Seven against the final. She's the six time champion in World Cup. And she's running every minute. McNally takes the first seven five.
time. Second sex, Williams to serve. Thank you, players are ready. Half way towards Thank you, a very and big gentlemen. story here, developing under the lights in New York City. Serena Williams with work ahead of her. Interesting to see Serena if she makes a couple changes here, realizing that it's McNally who's dictating play. We saw it finish a couple points at the net. Serena on the opening point of the second set finishes at the net. with all the controversy in the final against Osaka. That was what Moritoglu got caught with, right? Sure. Asking Serena, imploring her to push forward. Yep. A little more aggressive here, the first two opening points. 14 left. Second set. Interesting. Look at the unreturned serve numbers for both Knowles here because McNally getting a lot of free points in that opening set. Unbelievable. I'm not sure I can ever remember McNally behind her second serve, 50% unreturned against Serena Williams, the premier, most potent returner in the women's game. That is beyond impressive, quite frankly. It was 50% split both off the first and the second, not coming back into play off the McNally serve. Love 15. A lot of different challenges. Quick look at Serena's husband. Throughout a match, and when you look at it from McNally's perspective, she's met all the challenges so far, but now not to have a letdown. After clinching that first set. from Serena with the angle backhand. She moved forward, and McNally was able to extend and still win the point. She's answered the ball, isn't she? One, game all, second sentence. 
mighty impressive. Double faults on the opening point. He doesn't let her let it bother her. Serves extremely well, and then goes for a big second out wide to close that service game. Serena second serve throughout this match. Stepping well inside the baseline to try and make something happen. It makes sense that she's trying to pressure that second serve. She's trying to take a little bit of time away from Serena on her ground strokes. from the McNally forehand, but boy, she's pretty impressive on the run on that side. Seems to hit that yeah. running forehand quite well. I was just thinking the same thing. Gets out of the shot quickly as well, doesn't she? A recovery off that last forehand was outstanding. The slider and the deuce court out to the forehand. Let's listen. Let's.
Monty McNally serving one two. to play one more ball. Love the team. six doubles because by my count if you look at the amount of points Serena's actually won returning <laughs> are 11 so 15, 13. my maths wasn't very good but I'm pretty sure that's just five points she's won when the ball's been in play as a returner that's incredible, really. into this game. She's hit the volley, what, four, four times, Nolsey? And I would yep. say on three occasions she hasn't hit to the volley. I'd say you're right. a little late on that forehand. Excellent return there from Serena Williams. That side, doesn't she? Off the first serve. Hold. So love 40 in the set and love 30 and she's navigated her way both times. USOpen.org, remember, download the app for all the scores, stats, highlights, play and use celebrity sightings. It's available on the App Store and the Google Play Store. The one thing that comes across 
but those that have known McNally and followed her career is the confidence she has in her own game as a youngster. People talk about, and she always had a lot of belief in herself. And has been underlined here this evening. Numbers from Hawkeye. Second serve return hit points in set one. McNally is about three feet closer inside the baseline than Serena Williams mm. on the second serve return. Probably one of the most aggressive returners there ever has been. from We've seen her move forward a little bit more here in the second set, so she's clearly trying to do a few different things here to turn this match around. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Another big point here at 30 all. This is now the challenge of the call. Left serve, the ball is called in. A lot of unforced errors coming from that this forehand side for Serena Williams. Williams. But again, you see the value, Norsey, don't you? You have the ability to use the slice just to neutralize the return. It's not that many women out there that have that. Just a fraction on that second serve return. Almost looked like she was thinking about the drive and charge again. Didn't get enough behind the return and got caught a little bit there late on the forehand. Again, Williams. Taking a bit of pace out of the serve and getting her reward, Serena Williams. She's in the fight here. It's two, on the serve the here in the second, 3-2. That's the current situation here on the Arthur Ashe Stadium between these two Americans. Runners, of course, going to go down as one of the greatest all time. One who's just making her way into the professional ranks. to think that Serena's going to have to start expecting that second serve to the forehand, be a little bit more aware of it. Hey! 
Yeah, I was going to ask you whether it's time for McNally just to start switching it a little bit, but it's a free point there. Clearly, she has a game plan coming in to attack the forehand side on the return, knowing that Serena does like to move in a little bit on the second serve return, try to jam her a little bit going out wide, especially in the deuce court on the second. Almost two games worth of doubles now for the 17 year old. Getting a little alarming. Having missed a couple long, I don't know, but fact of the matter is, he's got more break points. about it very few women can finish at the net in today's game we think of Ash Barty but McNally quickly coming into the conversation so far based on what we've seen tonight she has played the break points very well so far yes. she's punished for the serve and rally. Serena Williams picking the return early. Williams and she has it for the book of the evening. You called it, Nick. You said, was she going to the forehand maybe a little bit too much? And possibly the case there. Serena was ready for the serve to the forehand in the ad court. And then she secures her first break of the match. Serena's record here at the US Open from a set down. It's at 15 times she's been a set down here in New York. She's won five of the 15 occasions. Not many in recent years either. That's a bit of a surprising stat for me to hear that. She's lost eight of her last nine matches when she's lost the opening set here in New York. The only occasion when they went against the grain was when she beat Bethany Matek Sands in 2015. Lost the opening set. Didn't want to move forward and then just absolutely knifed it up the line. Side spin moving away from Serena. That's about as good as you can do there. Good stuff from Serena Williams. McNally just couldn't get enough on the first volley. 30 oh. Had she had done it, it might have been a different story. 
Excellent point. Tried the sneak attack there. Just that ball got a little bit behind her, so she wasn't able to hit that backhand volley and get it to move away from Serena. But a really good point from both women. Getting the needle in the red zone with that first serve. Upping the pace. Second serve by that margin. Advantage. Like the champion Williams. that she is, the response is all that matters. Almost an identical spot. Miss McNally is challenging the call. Right center serve. The ball was called in. McNally looked pretty confident here. That was well. 17 years of age, the eyes are still very sharp. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen McNally do the drive and charge from the ad side, which at times can be a little bit riskier. She's been a little bit more cautious on the deuce side. You know, the backhand return from the deuce side, you're already in the center of the court, so sometimes it can be easier to drive and charge. in the exact same spot. Yeah, the serve speed's gone up from set one to two. She was 103 average first serve, 108 in the second. <laughs> and the intensity levels have gone up as well. That's a great finish to the game for Serena Williams. She's having to dig very deep here. And she's a game for taking us over. Two seven sets. First set, McNally. Second serve speeds for Serena Williams from set one to two have got down a touch. So it's need a little more aggressive off that first serve, that's for sure. to stay in the second, 
15 love. Well, she's been living dangerously throughout this second set. Was down love 40 in her opening service game, then love 30. Then was love 40 again, thanks to a couple double faults. And ultimately, it caught up to her. And she's made Serena Williams, the champion, have to elevate her game substantially here in this second set. Serve directed to the forehand. So you were spot on, Nick. You thought maybe could be getting a little too predictable. Now can McNally make the necessary adjustments needed? And of course, by coming in there, it takes away just the bump down the middle, doesn't it? It becomes a different shot for Serena on the run there. She's working with much smaller targets. to see if we get anything different in the third. We are very close to being all square here. Yes. She's also added just a little bit of margin to that forehand, just a little better shape on it, still enough pace to make it difficult for her opponent. regardless of the outcome here this evening. She may have some company, Coco, pretty soon, judging by what we've seen this evening. It's a couple of years in age separate them, McNally being a couple of years older. Wow, 97 mile, 
match. Look at him. Encouragement from her corner. Trying to prolong this set. this approach here it's a nice slice let's see she stays in the center of the court as you can see she didn't follow the line of the ball plenty of room up the line still an excellent pass from Serena John McNally with the backwards cap. Mentioned he played in the U.S. Open in 2016 in doubles with J.J. Wolf. There's her mom. The advantage, Williams. A very menacing return. McNally suddenly. Having not quite so much time on the ball. This has been a lengthy service game. Serena, yet again, finds herself at set point. Oh. Is McNally not hurt? Oh, I'm not sure there was a call made right away, or at least McNally definitely didn't hear it. But did hear the chair umpire overrule or, or at least Please. back the call that was made. Side from Serena. Let herself. The unforced error count for Serena Williams up to twenty four now. set away just yet she has believed doesn't she from the moment she stepped out on this court it has seemed
Yes, and it's all another gas to machine. And the final back end. 15 love. Incredible gets mid rally there from McNally to extend, but seemed like she did run out of a little bit of steam at the end of that rally. to not only hit it well, get a lot of weight a shot behind it, but then also recovers well. It's a lot of bounce, isn't she? The court as well, it's quite a kind of, looks quite a wristy sort of forehand, but she's used it very effectively. 30, 15. Serena's getting a lot of value out of the tee serve in the deuce court. in the ad side. Much more comfortable doing it from the ad side. Let's see if McNally makes any adjustments here. Seems like Serena has favored the T on the deuce side in the big moments. And that's why she's the greatest serve of all time on the women's side. <laughs> Just when you saw McNally just take one step to her left to try to cover the tee, Serena aces her out wide. Now six of those nine mm -hmm. aces have come in the second set. Ladies the and gentlemen, this you. year. Fifth set point. Serena Williams to sustain her level to close out that second set. Some fun points to end it as well. Just making another return. Good little dig, wasn't it, that? This was a nice get right there from McNally, but a nice finish from Serena. And I like how Serena, after that first volley, she got ready for another volley. Quick look at some of the stats here. First serve percentage, 177%, pretty high there for Serena, excellent stuff. Thing that stands out to me for Serena Williams, seven of 10 net points won, 10 advances to the net. She only had four advances to the net in the first set, won two of four, so. Clearly, she realized she needed to be a little bit more aggressive. 17 winners. A more aggressive Serena Williams in set two.
But uh, on the evidence of this opening hour at 35, Katie McNally. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Future. Please, and thank what you. What future does she have left at this year's US Open, though? She halt the comeback to set a piece. Love 15. What's your thoughts here, Mark? Is this lady going to be able to sustain this level? Uh, Ali, do you think? Money would have to tell you no, mm -hmm. but she surprised us right from the start here tonight. So, going to be very interesting to watch this third set. Katie McNally has maintained it a lot longer than I for sure expected it. Love 14. Probably the first point that we can remember on the serve and volley where she's actually lost the point, so. Just all of a sudden, a couple little errors creeping into the game of the 17-year-old. Tidy conversion rate so far this evening, but three more to work with. Oh, wow. Game that was wins. an absolute stinger of a return. And so we have a to a flyer in this third set. difference really for me has been the return of serve from Serena Williams. She's really found her timing on the forehand return. Realized that McNally was favoring that side, especially in the ad court. She kind of feel like she's panicking, but there's a little bit of suddenly she's got to find a way to find another level now, isn't she? Well, we haven't seen Katie That's McNally me. play often, but you have to think that it's probably as good as she's ever played. Yep. And that's a hard thing for a player, right? When you've just played your best two sets possible mm -hmm. and you find yourself one set all and you're not sure if there's another level. Yeah. And you know for one that the person on the other side of the court does have another level. Sure. <laughs> Love 15. You don't win 23 grandson titles without a couple different levels that the others don't have. Not only physically, but also mentally. Start of this decider. 
runner up here, of course, last year to Naomi Osaka. And just seems to be right on it. Once again, a powerful forehand return. And is there a case for just changing the pace a bit off the serve, Nolsey, as well? Oh, you're spot on, Nick. Exactly what I was going to say. Maybe not in the repertoire of Katie McNally yet, but this is when you would change the pace, when you realize your opponent's really seeing and timing the return. Maybe offer up a little kick a little bit slower pace on the first just to change it up a little bit. And that'll all be part of the conversation after you know, she's only 17 years of age. They served very well. Seven aces. Sure, a couple extra double faults at nine, but serving against probably the greatest returner we've seen on the women's side. Definitely the most potent. Sure. And she's held up well, so. From a coaching standpoint, hey, if you see the returner really starting to one time your show, what do you have to do? And exactly as you said, change the pace a little bit, change the spins. She needs to somehow swing the pendulum back the other way here because Serena Williams is dictating the terms of this third set. Dominating this decider. A double break. She's up three zero. chasing Margaret Core on 24 majors, singles majors. Looking good here now, three love. 15 love. Hasn't though, as we know, won a singles major since the Australian Open some two and a half years ago. 
Which is quite surprising. She's had some opportunities. But you have to expect that she has that number 24 first and foremost in her mind in a lot of those matches. And it's not easy when you get to the latter stages of your career. I'm not sure if people realize that. You think that it's just a certainty you're going to constantly be in Grand Slam Finals, but that's not the case. Even for Serena Williams is thinking, is this my last chance? Did you find that? I did, 100%. I wasn't close to chasing 24, but definitely towards the end of my career, having played 13 Grand Slam Finals, I found those last ones were it's a little extra on it, not knowing if you'd get back. Game wins. Move off the score change. Third set. It's been for Serena Williams. We felt she raised her game in that second set. She's continued more of the same here in the third and has really dis distanced herself from her opponent. He has won 16 of 17 points. Just to remind you once again, usopen.org, your online hub. For point by point, live scoring, highlights, stats, draws, do go there, usopen.org, the official tournament website. 15 months. What's the under over on Katie McNally's ranking a year from now? Knowles, even 120, where do you think she's going to be 12 months from now, from what you've seen so far? She well, stays injury free. Yeah, I'm, if she stays injury free and that this is a good illustration of her game, <laughs> I've got her in the top 25. Let's say But, you know, you also have to factor out. Of course, she's, you know, we mentioned no pressure in this situation. Night match, US Open against Serena Williams. That is an opportunity for a young player to play their best tennis, and she's done exactly that. Yeah. Whether this is reflective of her average level, probably not, but I love the style of play that she plays. I love her attitude on the court, so I'd say she's got a good chance to possibly have a seed here at next year's US Open. Nice. Australian Open direct entry is going to be a, a goal as well, isn't it? Pretty close to that. What about you? Have you been impressed? Very. Kind of a variety she has. Kind of light moves well, doesn't she? I mean, you and I would give her extra ranking points for sure based on the fact that she can finish at the net. Yeah, too true. Very bold out here. Doesn't seem to lack self belief here, does she? Just the occasion and everything else, the adrenaline. I think exactly how you pointed out, you know, just to change of pace, that's just something she's going to have to learn. I think she serves very well for a 17 year old. Maybe add a little bit more kick on it, which is a tough serve to learn. Let's just serve. McNally, 4-1, Serena leads.
4-1. Serena Williams serving. intriguing third round, couldn't it, for Serena, because talks about the variety that McNally has. Could be Sue Wei Shei Nolsey in the third round. Yeah, nobody offers more variety than she does. However, Shei Su Wei's more about changing the pace, not necessarily with the slice per se, so I'm not sure if it'll be that difficult of a matchup for Serena, but you never know. Go quite a long way for Serena because Serena had to elevate her game in this match. It wasn't like she was playing poorly to lose the first set. It was more about this young lady here. Five games to one final sets. Time here in the singles at least seems as though it's about to come to an end. Serena comes through 6-1 in the third. 